pray for bad wisdom. And I really want to encourage, not this testimony is not really for me. It's for the children of God, the righteous of God. We that are redeemed, that are called by the blood of the Lamb, that the Lord has redeemed. We need to love one another. See? Uh, one might say that we are from Africa, I'm from Nigeria. And over there, when something happens to one person, we ask. Because once we become a body of Christ, we are not brothers and sisters in Christ. This is my first family. You are my family. Amen. Before my family, my blood family, you are my family. Because if anything, we are all going to the kingdom of God. Don't you know that? We're going to heaven together. We are all saved by the blood of the Lamb. We are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. So for the mere fact that, oh, maybe I'm not from America, or I'm not, don't look like this or that, I'm your sister. You are my sister. You are my brothers. If anything go wrong, I'll be there with you. If anything go wrong with you, I'll be there with you, and you'll be there with me. That's how the house of God is supposed to be. We can't play church or fake church. It can be real, but we are people of God. See, I say that because I was a Bible study on Wednesday, and my phone just rang. Uh, there's this guy who was painting during a walk in my house, and uh, at first, when I came back from work, I didn't really want to go to Bible study that day. Something said I should stay. But I just, I just said, let me go, because that was why I took uh, Wednesday off. I said, I'm not going to work on Wednesday, because I want to give the Lord Wednesday. I'm going to Bible study. So I got to my car, came back again. I went to my car, and I came back again. The guy looked at me and said, go, go to Bible study. I've been doing this even when you are not around. So I can do this even when you are not here. Just go. So I got decided to go. And as soon as I get to church, sitting in the chair, just listening to the Bible study, my phone rang. Guess who called me? The ambulance folks from the hospital. So I'm wondering, what did I do now? What room do I have in the hospital? So I rush out to answer the call. It was uh, the ambulance folks that called me. Oh, did you know they sent me the picture? This person said, yeah, he's supposed to walk in my house. He fell from the ladder. <laughs> Lord of my, uh, first of all, looked at myself. I said, Lord, I came to you. Nothing should happen to people that walk with me, people that are around me. Nothing is going to happen to them. You are going to protect them. Your Shekinah glory is going to be upon them. Nothing will happen to them. Because nobody will put me, I will be in trouble. No death is going to be, no blood is going to be in my hand. So I pray that before I left this premises, this church. And so when I get, I said, can I talk to him? They said, yes. So I spoke to him. I said, how are you are? Please, I hear your voice. I know you are okay. Any other stuff can happen. I want us to know that even though we come to church, we pray, we believe in God, God didn't promise us that nothing will not happen to us. He didn't promise that Satan will not attack us. He will. He didn't promise us that we won't go through. For people around us, something may happen to them. Yeah. May, you may not have a problem, but other people in your life, something may happen to them that it will concern you. And so I said, Lord, I believe in your word. I stand in your promises. I know you said you will protect me. You are my good shepherd. And you are the good shepherd of that person. Even though you work with me, but you are anointing that me will flow into him, whatever it is right now. And something will be done. He broke his hand, and do you know what God did? This hand right here, he broke two bones, and the bone actually came out of his hand. That was out, we can see it. For somehow, somehow, uh, God is a wonderful God. The bone went back inside without anybody touching it. It just went back in, but the bone yeah. is still in his hand. And he told me, he said, go home because I didn't love the door everywhere. Was open. So I rushed home. When I got home, blood everywhere. I'm like, okay, if there's blood, there's something serious. So I rushed to the hospital. I was in the hospital till 4 a.m. that Wednesday. They had to stitch the there, took me to surgery immediately. But you know what? I just want to thank God. That said that poor one. But God is a faster God. He's a long time God. And I just want to thank him this morning. I was telling Pastor, I said, nobody check on me that why did you step out of Bible study? Wow. Something would have happened to me that made me to leave the Bible study. You need to check on one another. Amen. But you know what? I'm not grudging or anything, but I just want to encourage each one another. Let's check on each other.
each other. And I just want the saints to help me this morning and say, Thank you, Lord. Because nobody died on me. See, if you fail, I will protest it. No one to help me. Nobody. But you have to call ambulance. You have to call all my neighbors who are looking at me when I came by life. But I died of this crime. But I give God the glory. I don't have no family in this country. This is my family's church. And today I will give this testimony that before I came to this church, I saw it in vision. That's why, I, that's why I'm here today. And I thank God for that. That God, I give you the glory. And I give you honor. And I say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you.
said, now to him be the glory in the church. See, see, we were talking, talking to a preacher last night. You ever seen a preacher that got bodyguards around? No, don't call no names out. Don't call no names out. Amen. But I heard a guy say he's so anointed. You can't touch him. That just blew my mind. With power. He wants you to own the name of Jesus. Yeah, right. Say look. How you gonna tell somebody? Yeah. I said, what? What kind of law did that joker got that he needs security guards around him or her when you're not supposed to touch him? That is that that's an oxymoron.
saying that serving God is undesirable to you, then you choose this day. You ever see some people mad because they say, especially on Friday night, or Saturday, or when they will that be on? Sunset sweet. Man that we spell.
go. Because that is a choice. You choose to stay where you at. Come on now. You choose to stay right where you at. It's a choice. Where you want to go, it's a choice. You got to choose to get your butt up and move.
I'm the way. Keep your eyes on me, because I'm the truth. Amen. He said, keep your eyes on me, because I'm your life. There's no life without Jesus. Here's my closing. If I want that power that works in me, I got to connect to the source. I don't care what you're dealing with today. I don't care what you're going through today. Ask yourself these three questions. Where am I? Where do I want to go? Who or what's in my way? And how do I get there? Right? And all your answers will come right back to one power source. His name is Because of what he said. He says, he said, to him be the glory in the church. Who's the church? Come on, thank you. Sit, sit.
we say shut down, shut it down. Do we say walk away, walk away. It doesn't matter what comes against you. No weapon formed against me. If I'm his child, he's going to protect me. If I'm his child, he's going to provide for me. If I'm his child, he will sustain me. If I'm his child, he will love me into righteousness. Well, it's a choice. Choose this day. And when you ready to make that choice, I promise you, it's going to cause you to make a change. That's where you have to be a real grown up. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. Are you ready to mature in the word this week? Are you ready to grow in the word this week? Are you ready to allow the word to be a, a lamp unto your feet to guide you down the path of righteousness for his name's sake? Or are you just going to give up when it gets tough and unplug? Because the minute you unplug, the devil got you. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Who wants that heart this morning? Come back to me. I feel the spirit of prophetic prophecy in this place this morning. Hallelujah! Thank <laughs> you. 